On Wednesday, the Big Ten announced that they have hired a former MLB and TV executive Tony Petiti as their seventh conference commissioner. Now, I'll go ahead and admit I was wrong on this. My gut instinct was that the Big Ten presidents wanted to get away from the kind of commissioner they had before in Kevin Warren and get back to somebody that was more versed in the world of college sports, like especially now that the television deal is you know, locked up for the next, what, seven years or so. I expected someone like a, a current or former AD, you know, like current ACC commissioner, former Northwestern AD, Jim Phillips. And we'll, we'll get to him in a minute. Don't worry. Uh, Petiti won't officially take over until May 15th, but his first order of business is obviously going to be getting acquainted with the others at the upcoming college football playoff expansion meeting. And then it's getting to work in the Big Ten finalizing all the media rights deals that were announced last August. Uh, and you can read Nicole Auerbach's story over at The, uh, over at the Athletic about that. Uh, he's got to familiarize himself with all the current Big Ten presidents and ADs. He's got to work on the L.A. market. And, of course, he has to onboard USC and UCLA soon. Uh, likely has to work with other commissioners on this NIL mess. There's a whole lot more. He's got a lot on his plate. So now that we understand what he has to do, the question is, of course, what does this hire mean for the Big Ten? Uh, what it tells me is that the Big Ten is not comfortable just sitting at 16 teams. Just getting the one massive TV deal is not enough. You can't just rest on your laurels at this point, right? Petiti helped create the BCS. He is the former COO of Major League Baseball. He is the former president of sports and entertainment at Activision Blizzard, which for those of you that are not versed in the gaming world, I, first off, I understand, but that's a video game holding company uh, it's responsible for, like, Call of Duty, Guitar Hero, Warcraft, Tony Hawk, you know, all the skateboarding games and whatnot, etc. Uh, and if you don't think it's that big of a deal, the company signed multi-year deals with Disney and Google to broadcast their eSports leagues. Like, the Pac-12 right now can't even get a deal done. They got a deal done for eSports. On top of that, if you don't think video games are a big deal, you know that billion-dollar contract that the Big Ten just signed? Activision Blizzard brought in $7.53 billion in revenue in 2022. So Petiti, he's been around way bigger fish than Big Ten presidents. The guy was head of MLB Network after helping create CBS Sports Network back in 20, uh, excuse me, 2008, I think it was. Uh, he was responsible for acquiring and scheduling ABC Sports programming before that. Like The guy knows his way around the sports television universe. He's been involved with Super Bowls, the World Series, like all this good stuff. And now... His job is to run the Big Ten. Now, if the Big Ten had hired somebody like Jim Phillips, I could absolutely see them just sitting back, getting comfortable with the two new schools from L.A., collecting checks over the course of the upcoming TV contract. Does Petiti try to push the CFP to 16 teams? Remember, Ohio State AD Gene Smith talked openly about the fact that 16 is right there, and apparently it's hard to ignore. Like they, We just moved this thing to 12, and he was already talking 16. The CFP in 2024 and 25 is set at 12 teams. Does he try to push to 16 for the next iteration of the contract? Yeah, you got more games for more television providers? More money, more playoff teams for the Big Ten? Uh, Petiti has connections and experience as a television executive. They'll have to renegotiate the Big Ten contract if the conference decides to expand again. So this is something else to bring up. I am expecting a huge push from Petiti and NBC to get Notre Dame into the conference. as you know, The Irish's media rights are coming up in 2025. Uh, it was reported last August that Notre Dame wants $75 million a year for their rights, but they're expected to get around $60 million. Uh, Petiti and Irish AD Jack Swarbrick both worked in law before moving into their careers. I would imagine that if, if we do enough digging, those two have probably been involved in the same circles. So, if Petiti and NBC are able to get Notre Dame to join the conference... They're not just going to sit at 17 teams. The question then becomes, do they jump to 20? Uh, there's still a lot of time before this happens, but at, at this point, I'm not looking for the Big Ten to make any major moves until Notre Dame decides what they're going to do about their media rights. But after that, if they do succeed in bringing in Notre Dame, the question becomes whether ACC teams are more valuable than Oregon and Washington, and if so, which ones? Uh, uh, the other question would be, would the Big Ten be willing to wait until 2036 to move with the ACC schools, or would they want something sooner and end up rolling with the Pac-12 options due to the ACC grant of rights? Based on Petiti's experience, this hire does lead to more questions about, you know, innovation inside the conference, along with expansion possibilities. 
Because I don't think anybody believes that they just hired this guy if they're just going to sit still. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments.